So we want to make the habitat appropriate to go the, grow the good guy bacteria, but not the bad guys. And part of it is food, part of it is oxygen structure within the soil. So the good guys, not the bad guys. We want to do nothing to select for the bad guys. Same thing with your fungi. Those things that decompose that dead plant material, decompose but don't cause disease. We want all of this material to decompose as rapidly as possible. And make sure it's the good guys using it, not the bad guys. Make sure we've got plenty of oxygen in the soil, no pulses of nitrate, because we select for the bad guys with both of those things. Mycorrhizal fungi, if your plant is mycorrhizal, let's make sure those mycorrhizal fungi are there. Plant feeding, root feeding, and foliar feeding nematodes. Mother Nature sends them in if your plant is stressed. If Mother Nature perceives that that plant doesn't belong there, it's not healthy, she will send in the garbage collectors. So if you're seeing root feeding nematodes, what's that telling you? Now, these guys aren't right. We don't have the good guys present in our soil. Use it as a message and fix things immediately. So the garbage collectors, if they're, in, they're present in high numbers, you're in trouble. Well, how do you get rid of them? If you've got high root feeding nematodes, what are you going to do? Yeah, change the habitat. And some of the things we want to get back into the system right away are the things that eat them. Let's get the predatory nematodes back in there. Let's get in the fungal feeding nematodes and the bacterial feeding nematodes back into the system right away so that we deal with those root feeding nematodes. Primary lines of defense. Well, why would a fungal feeding nematode or a bacterial feeding nematode affect root feeding nematodes? Now, what's the relationship there? Why would they care if there are root feeding nematodes around? Well, where does their food come from? Most of the food to feed the fungi in the soil come from the roots, from the plant. Bacterial feeding nematodes, the bacteria are fed by the root. So these guys know, they're not stupid. They know that if these guys show up, that root's going to be killed. That plant's not putting the food out there. There aren't going to be the fungi, there aren't going to be the bacteria, and these guys are going to be SOL, out of luck. They're going to have to go find another root system to live in. They don't want that to happen. So they're going to protect that root system against the root feeding nematodes. Uh, but if we've killed these guys off by using nematocytes, by using fungicides, oh yeah, most fungicides are also killing these guys as well. You may not even touch those guys, but you're killing those guys. When you look at an herbicide, they are most of the time killing these guys off as well variety of mechanisms by which that can happen. But unless you're assessing your soil to find out what's going to happen, what is happening, what has happened, you don't know that this has happened. So every single pesticide that we use affects way more than the target organism. Fertilizers, inorganic salts. Every single fertilizer that we use is an inorganic salt. So what are you doing when you put it on inorganic fertilizers? You're killing these guys. Anytime you're putting on more than 100 kilograms per hectare, you're killing these organisms in your soil. Going backwards on that productivity gradient. So think about the fact that the Roman Empire, go back there. How did the Romans used to destroy the fertility of the people they were fighting? If they're trying to con conquer this country, what do they do? <coughs> They salt the soil, and we're doing it to ourselves. You are buying the salt, and you're putting it on your fields, killing the biology in your soil. Why do we have the diseases? Why do we have the weeds? Why do we have the insect pest problems? Getting worse and worse all the time. We're killing the biology in the soil. We have to reverse that trend. Not blaming you for doing it with our best practices, but we have to realize what we are doing and fix the problems.